Hey, Legend fans, the R Series has been a staple in the Legend lineup for many, many years now. But for 2023, I'm very excited to have the opportunity to launch an all new R15 side console and full windshield version for you here today at the Toronto International Boat Show. I'm joined by my good friend, Jeff Duhamel. He's the general manager of Legend Boats Ferry, also one of the family founding members of all of Legend Boats as well. So thought he'd be a great guy to take a few moments and chat with a little bit more details on that R series, who it's for, what we're gonna do with it, who the ideal buyer is for that model, and, uh, and in general, uh, walk us through the history of that, of that lineup. So Jeff, tell me, uh, what makes that, that lineup, that model, such a great model for a, for a Legend Boat buyer? Well, thank you, Jesse, for the introduction as well. And one thing about our R series boats, we introduced that hull back in the late 90s. And some clients that have them already would know them as our angler as the side console or the all sport as our full windshield. The nice thing about it is that people make a 14 foot, they make a 16 foot, but nobody makes really a 15 foot with the width of that hull. We use that hull in different variations through the years and 2023 shows the new introduction and the renaming of the side console now called the R15 SC and the all sport is now the R15. We've even tied into new graphics on the side to tie in with Mercury. We're exclusive Mercury. We're very proud to be a very uh, good sized Mercury dealer. So we wanted the graphics on the engine to match the graphics of the boat to make it an all complete eye impressive package when they're out in the water with their family and friends. What are we, uh, what are we looking at for starting horsepower in that R15? All right, well, one thing as well, with the R15 and the R15 side console, you don't need to go big power. We do start them with a 25 four stroke, power tilt and trim, electronic fuel injected on the back. For a lot of consumers, they just want to get out and putt around the lake, troll a little bit. They're not really looking to do any water sports, that kind of thing. The boat though is rated for a 50 horsepower four stroke. Okay. So if you did want to get out and pull people on a tube or pull up a water skier, something like that, or have a little bit more acceleration, you got that choice to do whatever you like power wise with help of one of our memory makers. What would you say is the most popular option or engine size that we're seeing on that boat? Well, through the years it has changed, but today the most popular option on that, a lot of clients do want to go with the 40 horsepower. Uh, the 40 horsepower Mercury is a three cylinder power tilt and trim engine. It is perfect. We offer two seats come with the boat, but you could add two more if you wish. So if you had four adults in the boat, some bigger, some smaller, you will not be disappointed with the 40 on the back. It'll get up on plane right away. It'll give, it can troll down if you want to troll all day, but if you want to pull someone on a tube and have some, a lot of fun with that boat with the family for the day, it's a motor that'll do everything for you. You made a great point at the width and the depth of that 15 foot model. It is pretty unique to a site say, especially with that full windshield version. There's very few models or manufacturers that I see still making a 15 foot boat that's nice and wide and deep like that in a full windshield offering. Right, and the thing that uh, you know some other of our friendly competitors do, they might make a boat of similar size, but they're not as deep inside. And when you're in a boat, you wanna be in the boat, not just on the boat. You wanna feel safe, you wanna feel secure, and the R15 side console and the R15 full windshield model do that. And we're the only ones in the industry that make a 15 foot aluminum with that full windshield model. So it gives people that opportunity to get into boating at a very economical rate without having to break the bank and go into that bigger boat that might not fit in their garage. Mm -hmm. True, true, yeah, with swing tongue swung into the back of the maximum engine on those 15 foot models, you're looking at a package length of 17 foot one inches, so that's gonna fit easily into any standard car garage, be very easy to tow. You know, even we have four cylinder cars pulling some of those uh, R series of models, very utilitarian, very easy to get from lake to lake. Right, and that's, you know, today's economics with vehicles, everybody wants to save fuel while they're driving, so they have the smaller SUVs with the smaller power. One thing about the uh, R15 side console and the R15, we have consumers with Civics pulling those. We have consumers with Subaru vehicles pulling those. It's a very, very lightweight uh, boat to tow, very easy to launch, very easy to store, and lots of fun for the entire fan. Yeah, and, and overall, as, you, as we keep mentioning, it really is the width and the depth that adds that stability, even compared to a couple of our other models, like the 16 Pro Sport stands out to me, is we'll have a lot of customers coming in more with a length in mind rather than some of the depth, and they don't really realize how wide and deep and stable that 15-footer is until they match the width and depth of that up versus our Pro Sport, which is a little bit more narrow, a little bit more utilitarian even from there. You're correct. And a couple of our neat things we do with that boat as well. We have a full-size casting deck up on the front that lifts open for storage. 
there's a huge live well in the front as well. In the back, we have a rear casting deck, and that rear casting deck is elevated just high enough that you can store your fuel tank under there and your battery. And what's new for 2023, yeah. now with the R15 side console and the All Sport, we put a complete passenger side lockable rod box that'll fit up the seven foot fishing rods. You can get two of them in there, lock them up and put them away. So it really tidies up the inside of the boat and just gives it that overall new refreshing look we are after. Yeah, Jeff's stealing my thunder a little bit on that product unveiling that we're gonna get to do with you guys in a few moments. But you're gonna get to see that in person here at that boat show floor. Jeff, in closing, you know, who are we seeing um, buying this boat? Who is this boat designed for? Who do we have in mind when you're sitting down with some of the engineers and kind of helping put together some of these packages? You know what, it's a diverse crowd, Jesse. We get clients come in that it is their first boat. They want to go fishing with their buddies. And then we get the family people coming in, young families, smaller children. They want to go their first boat. They want to get used to boating before maybe they go into maybe that bigger craft later on down the road. We also get clients that are maybe seniors that come in and they've had the bigger craft, they've had the bigger units, and they don't want to do that anymore. They want to still go boating, but they want more of a little more smaller compact boat want to store it in their garage. So it, it is a wide mix of clientele that buy an R15 side console or that all, or the R15, and it uh, gets them out of the water at an economical rate and have a lot of fun with it. And uh, with that in mind, who is this boat really not for? Who should not be looking at this model of boat? Well, if you're going to be the uh, king of salmon and you want to go out on Lake Ontario and you want to go salmon fishing, this is not really the boat for you. We have the other bigger models for that. So the wind and the waves and the size of the water you're gonna go on, sure, nice calm day, you can pretty go boating anywhere. However, it's not always nice and calm. So the R15, the R15 side console is for those smaller bodies of water, a little bit maybe bigger bodies of water, but if you're gonna go out in Georgian Bay or you're gonna go Lake Ontario or you're gonna to go to point, uh, down to Quinty, things like that, you do need that bigger boat to be safe and have a better experience in a legend for many years to come. Yeah, uh, you know, it's obviously a bigger boat. The larger we get, 18, 19, 20, more stability, but also the people capacity as well, that our series is going to be looking at a four-person capacity. So if you have that family of four or five already, and you still want something that you're going to bring another family or more friends or kids' friends out on, probably not the best boat for you uh, either, I would say. Right. And that's one thing we do here. If you come down to the boat show or you come into one of our legend partner stores across the country, we're there to ask you the questions and to assist you to make the right decision that's not just going to be good for you, it's also going to be good for us. We want you happy with the product, we want you safe in the product, and if you are happy and you're safe, you're going to come back later on and maybe upgrade your boat or recommend some family members and friends to come and see us because we helped you out so well. Awesome. Well, again, when we come back, enough of us two talking about it, you're going to have the opportunity to see them in person here on the Toronto Boat Show, the first time the R15 side console and full windshield have been shown at any boat shows, and we look forward to you watching this walkthrough now. So whether we start out on this beautiful R15 side console model, or we jump into this R15 in a full windshield version, I'm quite certain that the changes, tweaks, and upgrades we've done to the side console and full windshield version are certainly gonna turn some heads out on the water this summer. Let's hop in these boats and take a look at some of those changes now. Starting at the back of this boat, we're still gonna find a nice size casting deck that runs from side to side of this boat. It is fairly wide for this 15 foot model, giving the ability to pop up one of the seats on here for a great casting position. Still a lot of room, still very stable to get up and move around this boat at the stern on that casting deck. This package will pair with a standard 25 four stroke, maximum horsepower on this package, ranging up to a 50 horsepower. So we're gonna find most of our consumers in a 30, maybe a 40 four stroke as the most popular engine options. It is a portable fuel tank in this utilitarian R series of boats. So we have a 25 liter fuel tank, lots of fuel still for these fuel efficient four strokes to keep you out on the water all day long. An additional storage and battery compartment will run on the starboard side of this boat. At the very back, you're also gonna notice our all new rail mounts rod holders. These rod holders are much more robust than anything we've ever offered in a standard package here at Legend Boats. They're absolutely beautiful, very easy to pop in and out into various positions and simply lock into place. The boat will come with a set of two of these, but also a few different positions that we can use them throughout the boat. Rail mounts is a great product, especially with the amount of additional accessories that they offer. So besides just being a rod holder, we now have options like cell phone, cup holders, 
Uh, we have options like little fishing station and tool holders. It's an absolutely amazing product that you got to check out our all new rail mounts. Moving forward through the boat, you'll find that easy vinyl deck running throughout the entire boat. Very easy to spray it right down. Very easy, very fish friendly. Make a mess in the boat, simply spray it right down. All of these models completely standard with an automatic bilge pump. So any of that excess water that starts to fill up the hull, it'll activate that bilge pump and quickly shoot out the water for you. A fantastic feature in this utility model that's designed to be very rugged, get used for that outdoor fisherman in all of us. Over to our port side, a key highlight, a key update and upgrade that we've done on this R15 side console for 2023 is the addition of a lockable rod box. Previous years saw more open rod holder design where we now have this port size locker that'll run right from the back of the boat all the way to the front and giving us a great size of rod holder for this 15 foot boat running all the way up that side. Beautiful rod locker, beautiful welcome change and upgrade for this series. Moving over to the helm, you're going to find you're sitting nice and low, nice and deep. For a 15 foot boat, it certainly has the width and depth of something much longer. I'm sitting in here, I'm feeling very, very comfortable, very easily accessible to this uh, throttle position, this nice, beautiful, this nice, beautiful side mounted throttle is set up perfectly. A lot of room, a lot of room for me to be able to stretch my feet out and access all of the necessary toggle switches. Everything is set up on an easy reset circuit breaker system, so we're not messing around with any glass fuses or anything like that while we're out on the water. Standard with a fish finder, uh, depth finder while you're out there on the water. Of course, we've got several different options through either Hummingbird or Garmin potentially for you to look at upgrading or customizing some of those units. Let's hop up to the bow area. First thing you'll find is a nice sized live well up in the bow. We'll come with that overflow pipe as well. You can kind of control the flow on and off. Very nice live well and very nice size for this size of a boat. We've got a deep cycle battery location over to this side as well. So when you do want to customize this boat, add a trolling motor of your choice. Everything is pre-wired. Everything is ready to go. All we need to do is mount that bow mount and you are off to the races. A ton of storage up in this bow area. So by lifting up that bow storage lid, you're going to find a ton of storage, all nicely organized, all vinyl wrapped as well in there and very easily accessible. An additional seat mount off the bow as well. So we can easily and quite simply pop these seats out at any time. We can pop the post off. We can move it to a variety of different spots throughout this boat. Towards the front, you'll find that additional rod holder location. Again, these are a e easily able to pop up and move throughout the boat. A nice size bow deck on there so we're not limited to anything that we might want to mount off the front of this boat and absolutely beautiful. Another highlight to this model is the all new for 2023 is the black gunnels. Previous years saw these as white and they absolutely look amazing done in that custom matte black paint matching the exterior of the boat. The gunnels look absolutely fantastic. So while some of the changes to our R series may be subtle. We're very excited at what these subtle changes, upgrades and tweaks have done to our R15 side console and R15 full windshield and we hope you're gonna like them a lot. If you liked what you saw in the R15 side console, but we're looking for a little more protection from the elements when you're out on the water, the R15 might be the right boat for you. With a full wrap around windshield, giving you the ability to sit nice and deep in this boat be nice and protected from the elements when you're out there. It's not only gonna give you that windshield, but as soon as we're into this R15, we're also gonna be bringing in with this model, completely standard, the full stand-up top. So this top will open up from here. It will snap into the front of this windshield. Not only will it give us a full stand-up top, it's gonna to give us two side curtains, the back cover, and a front bow cover. This is an amazing option for those folks that are looking out to stay out of some of the, those rainy, fishy days. We see a lot of customers gravitating to this floor plan who might be heading out to water access properties want to be in a boat with a little bit more protection while they venture out or for some of those that have passengers that just don't want to be eating bugs when they're out there in a spring day so r15 or side console or full windshield i don't think you can go wrong depending on how you want to use it